morning. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Mu'taz Ahmed Zaki from uh, Alexandria University, Egypt. Uh, we are here today at the CVRF Foundation uh, TCT meeting, uh, which holds uh, many new updates on interventional cardiology and the use of stents and the publication of new data uh, regarding new anti-ischemic medications and uh, it shows uh, how this field is rapidly evolving and how many physicians can benefit from this uh, uh, interactive uh, process actually. Uh, this uh, meeting uh, is held uh, by uh, the chairman of uh, Cardiovascular Research Foundation, Professor Mohammed Sobhi, and uh, this is in collaboration with uh, many international faculties from uh, the TCT and, uh, and all around the world from the Solasi Group for Interventional Cardiology. Uh, today we have uh, uh, discussed many new trials, including the new Orbita trial, which uh, highlights a debate whether PCI is equivalent to medical therapy for chronic stable angina with single vessel disease and uh, really a very fruitful discussion uh, regarding this new uh, Orbita trial. Also, we are discussing new uh, trials uh, uh, like for example the ischemia trial which uh, is actually on process right now and we are awaiting the results maybe uh, next year. Uh, which will uh, tell us how to really deal with uh, uh, patients with multi-vessel uh, disease, uh, whether stable or unstable uh, presentation. Uh, I would also like to, to say that uh, many new uh, terminologies have come uh, into place, for example, the CHIP principle, which are a complex high-risk uh, intervention patients. Uh, this is a new entity and uh, which not only benefit from percutaneous coronary interventions but also from uh, left ventricle support devices and uh, the new use of uh, impella and uh, intraortic balloons. Uh, so uh, looking forward for new evidence that will uh, shed some light into how to manage uh, complex patients. Thank you.